Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Kenny Braswell, and thank you for listening to Dad's Pad Live. This is something new that I'm doing. This is me putting on my responsible fatherhood voice, and so many people have been watching Five Flow, and that's when I'm kind of talking about purposeful living um, at the next level. But in this space, um, I'm just going to stick to the stuff that has gotten to me where I am, and that's strictly um, in this fatherhood space. And so I just want to share a couple of things with you as I kind of get comfortable with um, the subject matter and the conversations that we're going to have over the course of the life of this thing we call Dad's Pad Live. Just yesterday, I was sent something in the mail that just really shook my heart. And it reminded me of something that I used to do. For many of you who know me um, and know somewhat of my past life, and I'm not going to call it my past life, but at one point in my life I was a newspaper publisher. And I should run a newspaper called Urban Voices up in Albany, New York. And I went and I pulled this up the other day because it made me kind of think about um, this thing that was mailed to me. And ironically, I grabbed this copy um, from June 2000. This is over 16 years old. And on the front cover of this particular newspaper um, is my then friend, Tracy Brown, my now wife, Tracy Braswell. And it's just kind of crazy, you know, when you kind of look back on your life um, and you see where God has uh, brought you and how he makes circles in your life. She was a manager of a credit union in Albany, New York. Um, I met her there. She celebrated her birthday this week. Happy birthday to my baby. And I just picked this up today and I just thought it was kind of ironic um, that God would put this in front of my face today given the conversation that I wanted to have to you about legacy and about telling our stories. And so, you know, oftentimes when I kind of think about not having my father in my life, one of the things that I recognize the most about not having in my life, that it's very hard for me to put my finger on legacy. It's very hard for me to put my finger on what he desired as a path for me. And I think that as a father, I think that both moms and dads have this, but for dads, I think that we have a responsibility to legitimize our family, to set goals for our family, um, to create legacy for our family, to build a name that our family would be proud of. And I always think about that in any and everything that I do. Am I behaving? Am I doing the right things? So that my children uh, will be proud to call themselves Braswells. And I know, you know, that on some ends of my family, we're not having the best of relationships and they may struggle uh, with calling themselves Braswell, even though they have my last name. And on the other side, you know, we're doing well, but that is life um, for me. But at the end of the day, if I'm not here, I want to make sure that at least I've done the things um, to create the kind of legacy that's going to encourage and motivate my family to be the same kinds of same kind of people uh, for my children's children's children uh, and so that's part of the next level thinking for me and the legacy building and so it brings me to this and a friend of mine sent me a copy of this in the mail uh, the other day it's called Proud Papa, and a good friend of mine, Sean Dove, created this newspaper uh, 10 years ago um, this fall. And so he had an eye towards creating a newspaper that would elevate particularly black fathers and really tell the story of the intimacy of who they are. And it was ironic as I talk about legacy that one of the articles in here is reflections of a purpose-driven parent. Uh, really being a parent with purpose for our children. And then I got this, which was the second one, which I actually have an article in. And many of my friends um, that started in this movement back in the early 2000s, um, trying to elevate the conversation of responsible fatherhood, was part of this paper, Proud Papa. 
uh, one purpose, presence, and power. And, you know, I've been and will step up the pace on my brother Sean um, to revise this newspaper. I think that even if we do it online, it's something that I believe for a narrative change for black men in this country, given what we are hearing uh, from our presidential candidates and what we're hearing um, through the media, that it's time that we create something that begins to tell our story and begins to give foundation um, and platform for the legacy that we want to build our children. And I bring that newspaper up to you because what struck me about Proud Papa being 10 years old is that 10 years later, um, my brother Sean now heads the Campaign for Black Male Achievement. And in 2016, he published this, uh, this book um, out of the campaign called The Promise of Place, Cities Advancing Black Male Achievement. And so... I say that to say that 10 years ago when he started Proud Papa and 15 years ago, 16 years ago when I was doing Urban Voices, I never thought about that newspaper and I'm sure he didn't give thought to Proud Papa being the foundation that would create the legacy that is the work around black fathers and black men that we're seeing today. And so for those of you who might be struggling with your work and struggling and trying to figure out, you know, how you fare in this space of fatherhood and how you fare in this space of black male achievement, all I'm going to say to you is start today. I need for you to start today thinking about building the foundation of what will become the legacy um, of black men and black fathers and black children and black mothers and black communities in the future. And we have to start now, regardless of how chaotic this situation looks today, uh, we have to begin by standing up, filling the gap, standing in place, building the foundation and being what God set us to be as men for our families. And so I encourage all of you to take some motivation and courage from what I showed you today and listen to the words of legacy. Um, see and look back in your own life and see where you have done something in your life that has created something that you now stand on today. And so this is Kenny Braswell for Dad's Pad Live. I'll be talking more about responsible fatherhood um, issues, but I wanted to talk to you today specifically about legacy. I hope I said something that's going to bless and motivate you, and I'll see you next week on Dad's Pad Live. Peace.